Good morning. It is 3.35 right now, and we are ready to go for the day. We are cruising the C&D Canal up through the Delaware Bay all the way to Cape May. And the reason why we're leaving so early is timing our tides and also finishing our cruise before any foul weather comes later today. How you doing, babe? It's so early. <laughs> Earliest cruise yet. Earliest cruise yet. Yay. Holly, how do you feel about it? Alright, let's do this. We're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we booked a one-way flight to Colombia, and after traveling to 11 countries, we were locked down in India for five months. Coming back to the U.S., we decided to pivot into boat life and cruise on a 6,000-mile journey called America's Great Loop. Make sure to subscribe as we share the highs, lows, and everything in between. so weird cruising at night like we were just talking about how everything seems louder i don't know if it's just because we just woke up or just because like your sense of hearing is a little bit more used like when you can't see as well um i don't know but it's kind of wild we are we've heard that the c and d canal from our friends Annie and gwen uh, from a broadway travel they really helped us try to plan today They've done this three times now. Um, so they really helped us a lot with planning. We were going back and forth about weather windows and stuff. And so they mentioned that you can transit the C&D Canal because it's like a street at night. They have street lights and it's crazy. There is, there's these yellow lights just bordering the, uh, it looks like both sides of the channel actually. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. And we're going uh, blistering 2.8 knots right now. I still have low RPMs because the engine hasn't warmed up yet, but um, we do have the current against us here in the CND, which is not ideal, but we'll have the current with us in uh, Delaware Bay, which is more important. So it's gonna be a little bit slow cruise, and the goal is to be out of the CND right when sunrise hits. So that's kind of the, the timing. We left probably about half an hour later than originally planned so we'll probably get through like a half hour after sunset but that's all right everything's within normal uh windows this is one of my favorite times of the day the only other time that we've experienced cruising at this hour was whenever we did Cape Fear and it was beautiful and now it's also, it's equally, it's beautiful right now. It's still pretty dark but like knowing that the light is coming is not very, is not nearly as scary as like when the sun is going down and it's getting darker and darker and darker. Although I'm not a morning person, it really is very pretty. Canal is heavily trafficked uh, commercially so we have been keeping a really sharp eye out in front of us and behind us for any boats coming up on us because everybody's faster than pivot or riding the current which is more likely down the CND you know so we'll cross paths we're also monitoring channel 13 as well as 16 because that's what you're supposed to do here that's where all of the big boat traffic communication happens on um, and then there has been a little bit of debris in the Sandy Canal. 
it's not unexpected. This is what we saw when we came in two days ago. But um, we're just keeping a lot of eyes out. The sun's coming up in the next half hour, so we pass first light, and so we can see a lot better now. But we still could see fine before. And sometimes we switch on our spotlight just to give us a little extra thing about what's in, seeing what's in front of Pivot. And then if we saw something that looked kind of like a piece of debris, it could have also been like a little like ripple of the water. We just turn on the spotlight, look at it, go around it, favor a wide berth. We haven't seen anybody, so we've been cruising for a while. We haven't seen anybody yet, so it's kind of interesting. Lay beside me, wake the morning. pretty cold this morning so we each have blankets and are drinking our hot beverages to try and stay warm you have an olive blanket too yeah hey Siri what state am I in Middletown Delaware oh, oh nice yeah we made it to Delaware state Woo! number Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware. State number seven! 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 Woo! Seven! <laughs> oh, yeah. It Made feels it to good. another state. Wow, oh this is a gosh. new state completely for us in the loop because last year we made it to Maryland. Make it to Delaware. Yay! The first state. <laughs> Ollie, are you happy? Yeah. With that, we are officially done with the CND Canal. We can see the Delaware River like dead ahead. We are about to like cross through Reedy Point, which is the exit, which is also like the tidal stations we've been looking at. And we made it. We're going five and a half knots now. Um, so we are kind of gaining speed a little bit and as soon as we turn the bend we should start getting start getting a little boost and it's kind of funny like coming out to this area there's the Delaware City Marina and that's where a lot of people stop staging this route of the journey um, because they do daily route briefings for your boat and tell you if it's a good weather window to travel up to Cape May which is really helpful uh, the reason why we didn't go to it is because Last time on Navionics I looked, it was like $3 a foot. So kind of expensive for us. And we have our own route briefing. Thanks, Gwen and Andy. Um, so, but yeah, so you, to go there, you have to kind of come out and then take a turn to port and then go to that marina. And a lot of people are out already on the river. Yay, we're here. Fingers crossed for a safe, uneventful cruise today I because want a boring cruise. yeah very boring no events very boring uh flat um no yeehaw no excitement no anything boring boring that's what we're going for are cruising at a blistering eight and a half knots. This is awesome. This is the bee's knees. 
Uh, and now we're gonna test out our autopod. We're kind of in a wide open body of water, no boats. We didn't see a single boat in the CMD Canal. We saw a couple come through here as we were coming out. Let's just see. Press auto. I don't know if it's working yet or not, but we're not moving. I mean, we're not really going a different heading, it's so I think not, that's good. It's not set at anything different though. No, but it's supposed to keep our heading. You know, whatever we set it as, like basically if I press auto, it's gonna go the same direction and it's not gonna move left or right. Ah, uh, okay. So I point the boat the direction I want and I press auto. Man, it looks pretty good because the heading right here isn't changing. This is, or is it changing now? It's kind of this moving now. Five degrees off. I think it is working. I'm pretty sure it is working. I'm gonna turn on standby. And then I'm gonna point the boat where I want it to point. Which is this way. And I'm gonna press auto. We're definitely veering off. Let's see how long it takes to correct. I feel like it should be doing more. So we might have to play around with this a little bit. Okay, so... TBD. <laughs> like everything. Yeah. Is it to working or is it not working? TBD. We'll figure this out a little bit more. Yep. More research to be had. Double digits. It is crazy. I don't think we've we've seen this once. And that was going through Elliott's Cut, which is right near Charleston. We and when we went through it, we were flying. And now it doesn't feel like we're flying because in Elliott's Cut, it's so narrow that you can clearly see this the speed of the water against the rocks and the and the cut through. But now it just feels kind of normal. And now we're like. <laughs> Is this what those like bass boats feel like? <laughs> you just have the wind in your hair and you're just cruising on by? <laughs> it is wild. Uh, what state am I in right now? You're in Greenwich, New Jersey! <laughs> Another state! State number eight! That's awesome. Wow. So funny. Two awesome. states in a day. And the Delaware Re River. Two states in a day and the Delaware Bay. Hey. hey! And we had a new top speed record for pivot, 10.2 knots. Woo! Wow. Wow. Awesome. Oh, wow, it is. It's making some sort of beeping noise. It's I thought that was the boat for, for a minute. Is that the autopilot? <laughs> That wouldn't be good. Oh, it's really pretty, huh? Yeah. I just tested out the autopilot for the first time, and I don't think our lines on Navionics have been straighter ever. Um, was reading like the manual for the autopilot and he adjusted the rudder gain because we have a very slow moving boat and that seems to be working or like based off the suggestion that the manual gave and like the changes that he did it seems to be working or, or better at least um, so we've been enjoying like sitting back and watching and just kind of <laughs> taking in the scenery <laughs> We can officially see shore. Kate May is 
dead ahead. We have about 10 miles to go until we reach Cape May. But it's crazy. We, were, we measured our distances from the middle of the Delaware Bay, like how far we were from shore. And we were like almost six nautical miles from shore. It's like, it's kind of crazy. You know, you think like, oh, you're still in like the rivers and, and the waterways that are in la inland. But you're still far from shore. And even when we go outside, we may or may not be six nautical miles out. We'll probably be closer, to be honest. So it's just kind of, it's one of those things that you don't think about unless you're on the water and you're doing it. Uh, we're very tiny. The boat is very tiny compared to this giant waterway. But it's been, the wind kind of picked up a little bit. There's a little bit of waves, but it was rough. We had like, I think two foot waves in two, two second period. So we had square waves right when the tide was changing and there was a weird gust. But after that, it's been pretty smooth sailing. No longer glass, but it's been, it's been great. There's a lot of fishing boats here coming into Cape May, so I'm gonna turn off the autopilot, but that was a success. We're gonna keep playing around with it, and uh, I don't know, it worked really well today. So I'm very, very happy about it. We made it here to the inlet, or this inlet, in, to Cape May, and we're just getting flashbacks to Ocracoke. Nothing like Ocracoke, but it's only flashbacks. Lots of traffic in New Jersey now. You know, we were warned. And uh, interesting people too. Um, but this entrance is very shallow and very shoaly because the ferry comes in and it turns the corner and it kicks up all the muck to one side of the channel. So you need to stay on the side of the channel if the ferry's not in. Um, so we're gonna focus. How do you feel? We just conquered Cape May and the CD Canal. Oh, I feel so much better. I've been so anxious. But we did it, and we did it on a good day. A good day, a safe day, a safe cruise, a comfortable cruise, an enjoyable cruise. That was awesome.
for dinner tonight, I made us a grilled romaine salad. So it's romaine lettuce, it's grilled outside with um, edamame, tomatoes, avocado, grilled corn, like a lemon vinaigrette dressing, some carrots, and some parsley and dill. So it's gonna be really flavorful and really delicious, really fresh. I wanna eat it outside. What are the grilled peaches for? Dessert. Oh, ho, ho, ho. ho, ho. There is a beach here to take out Ollie, but since we didn't take her out this morning because we left at 3 a.m. or we got up at 3 a.m. left at 4 a.m., we feel like it's probably a pretty good time to try to push and like have her do her business on the boat. So it's been like 26 hours right now. So you know she typically like really needs to go at like 36, so like the next morning or midday. She has to go now. She'll just be bursting and then yeah, she'll then really she'll, have to go. She'll really have go to go. Go to your business. So we feel like terrible parents. If you remember back in Solomon's, Ollie went on pivot when, actually I don't even know if we put this in the vlog, but Molly, which was the pup on our friend's boat on wildlife, uh, they downsized their pee pad, so they gave us part of it. And Ollie went like immediately on pivot. She's like, that's a spot, I'll go. So. She's just kind of precious. She just doesn't want to go on the boat because she's like, I don't actually, I have no clue why she doesn't want to go on the boat. Next morning, I think she's going to go. And then we've done that before. We'll give her a million treats. So she's going to be loved. Don't worry. And then I think what we need to do is make sure like the next time, repeat, set the uh, habit because it's better for her if she can go to the bathroom whenever she wants to. So that's it for the vlog today. We hope you enjoyed watching. We don't know how long we're gonna be in Cape May, New Jersey because there's not a clear and obvious weather window going north. And we need a very good weather window because we're gonna be going into the Atlantic. And so this is something that we are very, very, very particular about. So that way we have a very enjoyable and pleasurable cruise because this entire trip should be enjoyable not miserable, not unfun. So we're very particular and so we're not sure how long we're gonna be here, but we're gonna make the most of it. Maybe get in a few really excellent work days, which we could really use. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you tomorrow.